would like to uh, respectfully suggest that uh, since you have uh, opened up uh, the uh, matter uh, of uh, the variant, the Delta variant, the, P, uh, the COVID-19 the uh, uh, Delta variant, and we have the technical advisory group of experts, Dr. Edsel Salvania, Dr. Uh, Anna Ong Lim, and Dr. Uh, Isa Alejandria, uh, joined in also by the head of the Philippine Genome Center, UP National Institutes of Health, Dr. Cynthia Saloma, and also uh, Dr. Eva Cutionco de la Paz. These are, these are all the uh, members uh, concurrently constituting the uh, task force on uh, COVID-19 uh, variants. And now the most uh, alarming uh, of the variants, as we all have been informed uh, about, is the Delta variant. So, Mr. President, if I may just ask that uh, we recognize uh, Dr. Edsel Salvania to make the presentation on the Delta variant. Dr. Salvania, uh, kindly. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I would like to acknowledge uh, what you had uh, mentioned that uh, the Delta variant is really very scary and uh, this is all the more reason why we really should uh, police our borders po. Kasi it only takes one variant to get in and then pwedeng mag-India like surge po tayo kasi mataas po talaga yung uh, number of people na kayang infect ng isang taong merong uh, Delta variant. Kung yung dating virus po natin, uh, yung original virus, uh, dalawa lang po yung nai-infect itong Delta variant up to eight po. So it's up to four times more contagious than the original vi virus from Wuhan. Po. So this will really um, be a big disaster if we do not keep it uh, out of the country. Po. I am willing to listen and uh, you can uh, go with your presentation. We are very happy to hear from you. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, basically, the, the, this is a short uh, talk about uh, how we can keep the variants out, including the Delta variant, uh, and uh, why our quarantine recommendations are uh, going to protect our borders. Po. But basically, the rationale for our 10 plus 4 strategy, uh, as you are aware, the 10 days uh, in facility quarantine upon arrival, and we test on the seventh day, and then we have four more days uh, of home quarantine uh, is really designed to protect our country against the uh, any COVID that is coming from abroad because it takes about 14 days for COVID um, to show itself kung matagal na po. Um, kung hindi pa po siya nagpapakita on the 14th day, uh, most likely wala pong talaga COVID yung taong yon. But if they get infected at the time of arrival, then if we keep them in the um, quarantine in the facility for 10 days, at least hindi po nila ma, um, hindi nila mahahawahan yung mga kasama nila sa bahay. By the time we release them on the 10th day, they are almost no longer contagious. Now, ang problema po, if they try to um, uh, test them on arrival, uh, almost certainly, kung nahawa yung person na yun in transit, um, hindi pa po magtitest positive yun. So arrival testing is not recommended by uh, the technical advisory group and this is why we test it on the seventh day para kung nahawa man sila in transit, we have a good chance of picking it up. But more importantly, if we do not release them until the tenth day, even if our test did not work, um, the chances that that person will be able to spread uh, into the community, even if that is a variant, is very, very low. And then, dinagdag pa po natin yung four days na additional na um, home quarantine para yung 14 days po na original, as you had uh, mentioned, uh, uh, will be followed. Uh, maybe I will try to share my presentation kasi yung ano po, kasi hindi na ano. We have the uh, syllabus of your uh, chart. 
We are following ah, okay, you. And dito. Ah. Okay, pa, sir. We will provide ah, okay, you the sir. syllabus. Okay. Sige, sir. So, yung 10 plus 4 po, as I had mentioned, yung, um, yung ano po kasi, uh, on the slide that shows yung RT-PCR result, you can see naman po that day 1 to 3 of exposure, the RT-PCR will not be positive at all po. And then, it is only on the 8th day where there is the highest chance of testing positive. But again, the uh, it is really the 10th day quarantine that lowers the risk. Kasi po, itong um, graph po na nakikita nyo, um, uh, which is from the Centers for Disease Control, yung blue and purple po are what tells you what is the risk of transmitting to somebody if you only do one day of quarantine, two days of quarantine, three days of quarantine, all the way to 10 days of quarantine, assuming somebody is infected uh, in transit. And you can see po, on the 10th day, halos zero na po yung risk na makakahawa ang isang tao. But if you release them on the third or the fifth day, mataas pa po yung risk talaga. More than 20% to 40%, the shorter you go. And then po, this is really worth it kasi there is really no risk of exposing the family as opposed to sending them home after doing arrival testing. And we know that arrival testing will miss up to 60% of the cases because the people might not be um, uh, might not test positive with RT-PCR yet kasi ano po talaga sila, uh, false negative, masyado pa pong maaga. And of course, we need to keep out the Delta variant which is very dangerous. So yung sa Taiwan po, ang nangyari, hindi pa to variant yung pinag-uusapan natin, um, yung nangyari was um, they shortened the quarantine of their pilots from 5 days to 3 days and nagkaroon po talaga sila ng outbreak. Um, and this is really bad because um, uh, ngayon, alam naman natin, Taiwan did very, very well. And uh, what ended up happening was that they were, uh, no, uh, they now have a surge. And this is because they shortened the quarantine. Shortcuts. And uh, that's the problem with shortcuts. Yes, po, uh, President, Mr. President. And then, um, yung variants of concern po, yung pinag-uusapan na po natin na Delta, um, yung po yung latest, apat na po ang ating variants of concern, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and Delta. Uh, wala pa po tayong community transmission ng Gamma at Delta and we really want to keep it that way. And that is why very important po yung stringent protocols natin. Yung Delta po, as I have mentioned, um, uh, is 60% increased transmission over Alpha or yung UK variant, which was already 60% increased transmission over the original virus from Wuhan. So mabagsik po talaga to. If we thought Alpha was mabagsik yung UK variant, mas mabagsik po itong Indian variant, yung Delta. And of course, there's also the um, uh, uh, the finding that yung mga partially vaccinated, yung one dose pa lang, uh, nahahawa pa rin po sila uh, kasi mukhang itong Delta uh, really needs two doses uh, para maprotektahan po ng maayos. Yung one dose po is not very good at protecting against Delta. Uh, okay. In the Philippines po, we've already had 17 uh, cases of Delta, pero all incoming travelers po, and the protocols that uh, you have approved uh, have caught all of them po. So we have to continue and make sure that this is implemented nationwide because pwede po talaga tayong malusutan uh, if we do not implement uh, this strict protocol uh, in all our borders because again, it only takes one. And so we have to be cautious po with our quarantine rules. Uh, sabihin ko rin po kasi yung napag-usapan yung face shields uh, the Delta variant is also 40% more infectious outdoors, 60% more infectious indoors. So it would be nice po to have an extra layer of security na even if um, hindi naman required, uh, the PAG will still recommend uh, to continue to use face shields even outdoors, especially with the threat of the Delta variant. And of course, we uh, do consider the hardships of our OFWs um, who are fully vaccinated, na matagal po talaga yung quarantine. But it is something that we have to study very carefully, especially with this new set of the Delta variant. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Salamat po, uh, Dr. Sabanya. Uh, alam mo kasi, uh, uh, when I mention about uh, the face shield, I was only shooting the breeze with the congressmen, members of Congress over there. 
I never said with finality that uh, we will do away with the face shield. Now, uh, I will agree with you considering that this uh, D variant is very aggressive uh, and it can proliferate uh, in so much uh, short a period of time. We may experience uh, a second wave much more serious than the first. Ang problema dyan is uh, I do not think that it will require uh, the same v v vaccines that we are using now. Uh, the scientists, uh, you people, you, you have to come up with something to fight uh, COVID-19D. Uh, wala pa tayo Second is uh, we cannot afford it. Yung nangyari sa atin yung first wave, it has depleted really the resources of government. Now, another one would be disastrous for this country. That is why the stricter you are, the better. I am, uh, I'd like to tell you now, to tell uh, ikaw ang nauna na nagsalita, we will retain the, uh, I will apologize to the Filipino people that this thing was being discussed openly and many thought that uh, we were ready to do away with the face masks. But with the kind of aggressive infection uh, that poses uh, a very grave danger to, uh, it's a small inconvenience actually. I know that it is inconvenient really to be wearing the mask, adjusting it from time to time. But that is only a very small price to pay. Then rather gamble with doing away with it and courting disaster. Because uh, transmission, uh, it's accepted by all that it will be transmitted to the eyes and to the nose. So I, I am, I am, I, I'm, I'm left with no recourse but really to adapt your recommendation. But uh, I'd like to, uh, to tell you that beforehand, while well, I was, I said, uh, reviewing the international news, nung narinig ko ito, I said, baka nagkamali talaga kami discussing about this in public. Because people thought that it was a done deal. No, it was not. It was just uh, a casual chat. Uh, uh, as of now, the face mask is on. Wala tayong magawa uh, uh, the, the face uh, the face uh, shield. Ah, it's important the mask. Yun na lang ang pang kontra ko kasi it is to the national interest. I said that we must triple our effort because I said we do not know if it would require a new vaccine which has to be invented first. And second, we cannot afford a second wave uh, because it might be far worse than the first. And then you will have a problem of our economy. And I said it will be a disaster for the country. Uh, Dr. Do yes. Uh, Sir, um, Mayor, clarification lang po. Kasi yung naging apila po ng IATF is uh, para sa mandatory wearing of face shields in enclosed indoor spaces of hospitals, schools, workplaces, commercial establishments such as but not limited to food establishment, malls, public markets, public transport, and terminals and places of worship. I'm And doing the, away with that. That was just a suggestion actually. Oh. It was put into writing but it never came to my... Uh, wala sa table ko. Oh, oh, oh. And uh, I said, long before that, they, they, they were uh, reduced in writing, maybe, yung mga narratives nila. I was really bent on uh, restoring the mandatory use of the face shield. Indoors Kasi, and outdoors po. Kasi takot ako. Opo. Indoors so, and outdoors po. No, para all, po. Lahat. We go back lahat to the, 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 the normal before. So... Balik talaga lahat. Mr. And President. The, 
itong quarantine must be strictly followed. Thank you, Mayor. No, no exception. No exception. Uh, whether or not vaccinated somewhere else, uh, it would depend on the medical persons to decide on what to do with them. Now, you can present the next speaker. Uh, Mr. President, just to uh, raise a uh, clarificatory point. Uh, the IATF resolution on the wearing of the face shield will now be enforced as is, sir. You not in attend the resolution, sir. So that means uh, outdoor and indoor. Yung sa outdoor, yung um, uh, as enumerated by uh, Sec. Uh, Roque, will stay, uh, Mr. President. So basta malinaw lang po tayo kung ano yung dating IATF resolution on the mandatory wearing of the face shield stays. Uh, Mr. President. Well, I'm constrained really to go back to the old practice because of this uh, danger posed by the D variant. Kung wala lang sana yan, especially I said with the narratives that goes with it in, in the international Jews and even dito sa locally, it's scary. So, uh, I cannot afford to place the nation, the national interest of the republic by just, uh, you know, uh, sometimes adopting this and uh, being lenient to this. I said, I know that it is uh, a, a very tedious, uh, if you may, but it is really to prevent a disaster of our nation. So, Secretary Duki, who's your next uh, resource person? Uh, I, uh, yes, Mr. President, uh, if uh, the issue on the wearing of the face shield has been resolved, uh, although, of course, we have our, uh, there, they prepared a uh, presentation on uh, why uh, it is important to continue with the policy of uh, uh, the face shield. Uh, Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong patuloy na pagkangkilik sa ating tahanan at pagsubaybay sa mga kaganapan na nangyayari at sa ating tagumpay na natatamo dyan sa Indonesia. Hopefully, we will see you again in our next update. God bless.